Hi, this is Jeff at Airstream Nerds Headquarters, and we have something new. It's our 2022 Ford Bronco Badlands with the Sasquatch package, hardtop. I'm going to get back, tell you a little bit about it, and show you some of the things we've done to it already. It's been so So we took and reserved this Bronco on the, in July of 2021. Uh, we were able to place the order in um, February of 22, and we got it picked up um, in June of this year, of last year. Um, so we've had it a minute. And the first thing that I noticed was, well, I'm six, 6'3", so I have no problem getting into it, but my 5'2 wife has a lot of issue getting into it. So does my parents and her parents. So we've got these um, steps. I searched around for some steps that would give me the capability to keep my rock sliders as well as still give me form and function for what I need. So these are the, the IAG full-length easy step. Very easy to install. Each of these brackets that you see right there have a set screw, you set it on, it's like a rubber pad sets on there, it does a set screw, works out great. Um, one of the things that, when I first got it, I noticed that, well, you can see right here, these tires, the stock tires, they grab rocks and they like to throw rocks. So I got these, um, the mud flaps, those, the ones that are on the front tires are useful, the ones on the back tires are for the people behind me. Um, but they are good. They have a thumb screw on there and they do come off very easily as does the rock sliders, like I said, or the steps, like I said. So we can very easily go into like a rock crawl mode without damaging any of our add-ons. So those are the first two things we did. And then about a week after getting the vehicle, I got a nasty ding right here on the hood. Now I know these these deflectors don't really deflect anything. They're really there for looks, but it does cover up the area and protects this front hood. Um, and as you know, most of the panels on this vehicle are aluminum, so I'm not really concerned with rust. So I, I sanded it down a little bit and hit some with some touch-up paint underneath it as before I installed it. I also added struts from Redline Tuning. These struts are super nice. They allow the, the hood to stay up without the, without the bar here. And they also, they work great for putting it down, pulls it right down. There's no, no fighting it like a, uh, like a door in the back. So what else we got in the back and the outside here? Oh, 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 oh. You see, I got a long driveway. We're out in the country and it is dark backing up this driveway. So I had, I bought these Baja designed reverse light kits. They are from 4x4truckleds.com. Now I got a link to all these things in the, in the, in the um, information for the YouTube video here. All the links for everything I got will be down there. So we got those added. They were installed by um, Extreme Audio in Richmond. I was gonna start with the interior, but we're gonna start with the, the AV system and the electronics that, that we've done. So start it up real quick here. Uh, one of the things I did purchase is I purchased the um, screen protector from Amazon. Uh, I noticed the other thing, the, the, before I put the screen protector on, it's always a million fingerprints, it's smudged up, and a lot of glare. Now it looks like a lot of glare, but I have all the windows open and everything right now, so it's actually not too bad. Um, so, while I had the vehicle down to Extreme Audio when they were doing the rear lights, they also did some electronics. And, um... They put the can opener, motion unlock, and 360 degree camera unlock by 4D Tech 
they installed that, pulled all the stuff out, and they installed behind it. So what that allows me to do is um, turn on my cameras when I am moving, which really I only use when I'm pulling into a parking spot or something like that. I like the nice 360 degree camera, which since I have the doors open, it kind of screws it up, but it shows all the outlines. So you can see the lines when you're backing up into a parking spot. So imagine these dotted lines being the solid lines in a parking spot. You can see where you're at um, pulling in. Um, it's, it's really nice for that type of thing. And also, you know, allow Jenny to type in an address or something like that as we're driving down the road. Um, so we did that. We also upgraded all the speakers in here, even though I got the B&O system. Um, the B&O system, just like every upgraded audio system in a vehicle, um, is crap. So I got those three speakers. You've got speakers down in the in the kick panels there, and you've got the two pods in the back there behind the seats that you can see there. Um, so I put Audio Frog GS for the four inches and JL Audio C2s for the 6.5 inches spacings. And we left the sub alone for now. Um, seems to be okay with that. So while and they did all that work for me, and when I got it back, I hooked up Forescan, which is a, which is software um, that you can that you can buy, and you can make changes to the computer in the vehicle. All oh, the doors are open here. Now the Badlands vehicle. Badlands model does not come with sport mode, but there it is. So I've added sport mode. I've added the, the or I've removed the annoying beeping when I get out of the vehicle with the key in my pocket if it's running. It beeps really loud, it scares me every single time. And I also added the function where I could, where, where I can put on my high beams and my driving lights don't cut off. So I have the full, you know, I don't lose the lower half of the of the view at night. Um, those are the three things I did with Forescan. I'm not gonna go in on how to do it here. It's it's not that hard, but it is something that I don't wanna, I, I don't wanna go into, um, I'm not an expert about, so. Um, so anyway, so that's what, that's the, that's the basically the audio video electronics changes that I've done. Um, let's see, we did, this thing has no storage in here. Um, basically that's it, two cup holders. I'm used to having a, a few cup holders, um, like maybe some cup holders right here, um, a little extra storage. So I saw these things on, on um, Amazon and it's basically just a piece of plastic, two little trays with a strip of plastic that goes in here out of the way. And it's nice to put your wallet or whatever in there so you can still use the Q charger down here. Um, that's by a company named Maybet, but they also have these little boxes here that go under the, under the handles that, that turn this into storage. I can put my wallet here, things like that. Um, so those are two, two other items that we got for the interior. Um, consoles trays. So this was just a one big empty console. Now I have two trays in the bottom, so you can actually have a little organization in there. Um, that's also those are also by Maybit. I got these handles. Well, these handles are like a couple of things. They're oh bars for my wife, so she can hold on on the other side when she wants to. And they're also very helpful to grab hold of when you're trying to get into the vehicle if you're short. So we got those. Those are pretty nice. They're just a random Amazon um, place. And I got the, this is my Pro Clip mount here. Um, and this is the part from Amazon, the MagSafe part. This thing, this thing is rock solid when you, when you drop your phone on it. It doesn't come off. You could be bouncing down, down some dirt trail and it's, that thing is the most solid magnetic mount I've ever ever had in a vehicle. Um, my previous ones I replaced because they, they would fall off every once in a while. I mean, you could even bump this one and it still is pretty solid. Um, again, Pro Clip mount. Um, that's a random MagSafe. Again, all the links will be down below. Um, so we moved to the back here. I put these 
handles here on the back seats. It's just a secondary handle. As you notice, there's not a lot of, a lot of things to grip um, when you're getting in. And those are basically just the GPCA grip mounts. And they, they, they basically, they, they're just grommeted pieces that sit on like that. Pretty solid, pretty stable. Um, cup holders, I mentioned a little while ago. These are the IAG cup holders. Pretty unique design. They sit here pretty solid, but if, you've, if you have one of these, when you fold the seats down, the seats slide forward. These are in the way. They basically just come off. There is a pin that sits in here, but there's also a magnet on the bottom of this, which the pins are for alignment and the magnet holds it in place. It does a really good job. We haven't had any issues with anything, anything spilling or falling. So then let's move to the back here. Now, the inside of this vehicle, as you notice, is all rubber mats, plastic, lots of the floors, the floorboards are all rubber. Everything, for some reason, Bronco decided to do fabric like carpet on the backs of the seats. So Maybet has this material, it's Velcro basically, just sits on the back of our seats. Let's pull one of these seats down. You can see it's the same materials as everything else. It Velcro's on there, super solid. And it's just another, when you fold everything down, it's a nice smooth surface to push things on things, slides nice on there. Um, makes makes life a lot easier than a bunch of sand and everything gets built up on the on the carpet. Um, oh, we've got these Maybet. They they're doing a lot of research with with um, the Broncos. They're coming up with a lot of these little little handy products that are that are awesome. Now you've seen these these tables. Ford has a version. Seems like every company that was like their first product was a table for the back here. Great idea. Seems like this company here, maybe they came to the they came to the show with a much cheaper version that I can't really see any issues. You don't have to drill to mount it. You don't have to take all this stuff apart. Just a couple of bolts up here. It took me about 15 minutes to install. Um, and the good thing is on the bottom or on the face are molly panels. So I was able to get bags to put, I have first aid kit and tools and things like that. Um, it took me a while to find some good bags. These are the actual, these are the bags you get from the Ford store. So we use some of our Ford Pass points for these. This one, this one, and this one. Um, this one I have a link below and this one I have a link below. Those are the, those are the two, but it fills it out nicely. Um, there's nothing in here yet. I do have a plan for it. Uh, the rest of the stuff have various items. All right, so let's see what we have here. We also have from IAG, this storage area down here was just a, was a rattly storage area. So this company has this nice little liner that you can put stuff in so it doesn't vibrate and, and rattle down the road. Uh, oh, now these are completely unnecessary, but I think they look nice. It's these Rockworks thumb screws. Um, I love them. Um, I can't remember where I got this back, this this thing. It's just some random. I might even have had it from another vehicle. But you can see the, the top parts work great for that. These four screws on each side, these are what you take off to remove the hard top. The whole top comes off the vehicle pretty easy. So um, they were just regular screws, but now they're thumb screws. Thumb screws they look much nicer. These are the Tough Skins sill protectors they're you know a thick material that protect from my shoes or or whatever i got them for both sides real easy to install all right we also added this this d-ring here um on the outside i forgot about that earlier we had ceramic tint added all around now sorry the vehicle's dirty But the ceramic tint is going to cut down on heat inside. But you also 
This year, Virginia decided that no more is a primary fence window tint. So I went ahead and tinted the front windows to match the rest of the factory tint. Looks much better. I added this little mirror here. This is a little piece of glass. It's on a, a little pivot thing that, that, that screws there. I like that it makes a blind spot super easy. And you don't have, it's not as hard to see vehicles. And last but not least, have an Easter egg sticker up here. You might've seen earlier. Oh, we got two more things I forgot. So you've got the Sasquatch chasing Bigfoot up the side of a hill. My daughter's Etsy store makes these things, or my, my daughter makes these things and sells them in her Etsy store. I will put a link to them below. Let's see if you can, yeah, you can see it out here too. Pretty cool. And then one other thing, this light, is it light in sight? Light in sight, I think is what it's called. Let me check my notes here. Yes, it is the light in sight windshield lens. This thing right here. The cool thing, or the bad thing is I'm tall in here and when I pull up to a light, I can't see up there. I have to duck my head down and all that stuff. As, as weird as it sounds, thing works great. I can sit here at the, at the stoplight without ducking my head down and look at the lights. I can see the lights that are, that are up this way, no issue. And I got a great big project coming up with some lights, some more lights for the front um, and a couple other little minor things. I will be getting back to you with that soon. Once again, this is Jeff. And Jenny. And we're the Airstream Nerds. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, put any comments below, and we'll see you on the next trip.